What's going on my PT peeps? I'm a walking dead family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one eye bry. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the walking dead. And in this video, we're going to do my top 10 walking dead TV show weapons. So it's not a spoiler video by any means, but I got to put that general spoiler warning because we're going to talk about stuff from season one to season eight, season nine, the whole series of the walking dead. So obviously, spoiler warning if you're worried about spoilers, but to make a list of weapons from The Walking Dead show is pretty tough. But first, before I give you my top 10 list, guys, if you can, hit that subscribe button and show us some love by becoming a valued member of the PT channel, Walking Dead family. Obviously, photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here. Now, number 10 is a weapon that's pretty badass. It is a rifle. Sasha's rifle, a Seekins Precision Full Auto Rifle that is pretty badass and one of the things that I would love to have in real life, but also in a zombie apocalypse. The rifle is pretty badass and the accuracy and suppression of the rifle is pretty amazing. I love what Sasha does with the rifle and it's pretty awesome and it takes me back to season five when the group arrives at Alexandria and she aims it at the zombie walking towards the gates of Alexandria and then and takes it out. Pretty awesome. Number nine is another gun, and I gotta put a disclaimer. It says Glenn's shotgun on the story sync, but to me, it's Shane's shotgun. When I think of Glenn, I think of him having this weapon right here, also a machete or a knife, not a shotgun, but I believe he has an AR or an assault rifle right there. If you know what that gun is, please let me know. Post your comments below. And when I see Glenn, I think of him at the prison or early on, or especially this look right here. He doesn't have a shotgun, so I don't know where Glenn's shotgun came from. I think of Shane's shotgun, especially early in season one and season two. That could be Glenn's shotgun right there. It could be the same gun. He might have inherited it, but Shane's shotgun is pretty iconic to me. And when you think of weapons of a zombie apocalypse and really on The Walking Dead, what makes your top 10 list? Number eight is Rick's hatchet or Rick's ax, whatever you want to call it. To me, there were some huge scenes and moments that were connected with Rick's hatchet. And that's why it's on my list. It's not the biggest, baddest weapon, but so many things happen with it. The whole thing with Negan's introduction. You see it right there in season nine. Also, what bothered me mostly about Rick's hatchet is that it's exposed. You can see it right there on his belt. It's open. It should have a cover over it. He easily could have cut himself or cut a cup Michonne right there or someone around by accident. It should have been covered with a holster cover or something. Number seven is a weapon that can still be used today. Morgan's walking stick or Morgan's bow staff. I think it's pretty awesome because of the reach. And that's pretty important because you can keep your enemies, walkers, zombies, whoever away from you. The reach of the walking stick is pretty awesome. And you could sharpen one end so you could actually stab the walkers in the head and it actually work. Because if it's rounded off, it's not going to pierce the skull of a zombie unless the skull was very soft and the bones were starting to decay. But Morgan's walking stick or bow staff is pretty awesome. Number six is something that you might not think of. It is the hilltop spears. Again, with the reach, but here we have a metal component to it. Pretty awesome. You can see Cal and Eduardo have the spears. They are a weapon that most people won't think about, but it's pretty important to have a long reach weapon along with your melee weapon and or gun. But I think a spear is pretty cool to have in a zombie apocalypse. Number five is a weapon that we've seen for a while now, Carol's Bowie knife. It's a weapon that's just a knife, but it, to me, it's pretty iconic. And when I was making this list, I'm like, what's gonna be a reason to have this order? And Carol's knife is not the biggest, baddest weapon, but it's pretty important. She's had it for a while. And when I think of Carol, I definitely think of the knife that she has right there. And I love Carol, and I hope she sticks around for a long, long time with her Bowie knife. Number four is a weapon that everybody knows. It is Lucille. It is the only weapon to have a name which has got to be pretty important, right? And that's why it's number four on my list. It's hard maple, it's wood. The bat would break down over time, especially over use. And a wooden bat would break down, especially when it was lit on fire by Rick. A metal bat would be far superior in a zombie apocalypse, but the symbol of Lucille is pretty important. Number three is also a symbol. In my eyes, it's Rick's Colt Python Elite Pistol. Pretty awesome, it's a gun, so you have to worry about taking care of it, the rounds, bullet capacity, accuracy, and it's pretty iconic to The Walking Dead. Everyone knows Rick's gun and Negan's Lucille, so it's gotta be on the list, right? Maybe it's number one, but to me, it's number three. Number two is a weapon that I wouldn't really think about before the zombie apocalypse, Daryl's crossbow. As when you think about it, as long as you have arrows or bolts for the crossbow, it's pretty awesome. And I believe Daryl definitely has had two crossbows. Maybe he's had three. 
I'm not sure if it was the same one or what it was, but Daryl started with one, then he had another, and then he got another one at the kingdom. So a crossbow is pretty awesome because you can make bolts for it, theoretically. It's pretty hard to make bullets or rounds for a gun, but you could definitely make bolts for a crossbow. Pretty awesome. I got some honorable mentions because there's been so many weapons. The governor's tank has to be on there because when you think of season four, you gotta think of the tank, but also season one. Carol's gun right here is pretty awesome. I believe that's the gun that she shot the propane tank at Terminus, but I could be wrong. Beth's hunting knife, pretty cool. I mean, I would think we would all have a hunting knife if we were in a zombie apocalypse for sure. Also Abraham's knife, hunting knife, hog hunter knife. The browning knives look pretty cool. Tyrese's hammer is pretty useless when you think about it, but it is pretty iconic to Tyrese. Merle's bayonet prosthetic hand is the epitome of making lemonade out of lemons. Pretty awesome. Rick's sniper rifle, I believe that's the same rifle that Andrea shot Daryl with or grazed Daryl with. The bag of weapons that Rick put outside of Terminus, it's got to be on the list for sure. Also, Rick's red-handled machete, pretty iconic when you think of the Terminus storyline. And Gareth, the savior's gun that Carl had, and really the Lucille marking on the custom walnut grip, for sure. Morgan's arsenal was pretty awesome. That was a big part of season three, especially when they went back to the little town and we saw Morgan. And I know a lot of people love the governor's gun from season three. It is pretty badass. Also, a lot of people love the rocket launcher, but it's a very limited use. There's only so many rockets, but it does major damage. Number one is the one, the only Michonne's katana, because I love Michonne. I love the katana. I love the sword. And you think about it, a sword is pretty badass, whether it's a broadsword or a katana or whatever kind of sword. It's pretty important that you would have a sword, a knife, a machete, or something long range to keep zombies and people away. You don't have to reload a katana. You have to upkeep it. You got to sharpen it and you definitely have to maintain it, but you don't have to worry about reloading a katana or a sword. So it's pretty important. Michonne's katana, I wish the katana had a name because then it would rival Lucille. But the katana is pretty iconic. I love Michonne, I love katanas, and I love the katana so much that the main character of my zombie apocalypse has a katana because it's pretty much the ultimate zombie killing weapon. And I just love it. When I think of the zombie apocalypse and really the walking dead, I think of Michonne's katana, Lucille, Rick's Colt Python pistol, Shane's shotgun, Merle's bayonet prosthetic hand, Sasha's rifle, Morgan's walking stick or bow staff. How about you? What's your top 10 list? Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. And if you think about it, there has been a lot of different weapons on The Walking Dead, which makes it pretty cool, mixes things up, but it's kind of tough to make a big top 10 list. And what's the criteria for your top 10 list? Use, functionality, symbolism, being iconic, let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Please show us some love by hitting that subscribe button and become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. And remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it. It's about love, support, being true to yourself. And tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.